Hello there, I've got a question for you. Do you like you? When you look in the mirror, do you like what you see? In other words, do you like who's looking back at you? Or have you been swayed by the negative opinions of people about you? About how you walk, about how you talk, about how you look, about your physical appearance? Perhaps you've become so weighed down by the maintainer's burden of the lack of people validation in your life, so much so that you are now hiding your face instead of finding your space and running your race. Listen to me, it is important that you like yourself in order to become who you were born to be. No matter what you do, there are some people you are never ever going to be able to win over. Don't live your life trying to please such people because the more you try to please such people, the more frustrated your life will be. It is important that your life isn't about pleasing people. Bill Cosby says it like this. He says he doesn't know the key to success, but one key to failure that he knows is trying to please everybody. You don't have to be perfect to live a life of purpose. You don't have to be perfect to like you. See, in life we're in a race. And it is not a race against another person. It is a race against yourself. Mind your own lane and do what you are called to do. Don't let the opinion of people affect how you run your race. I've come to tell you that it is completely okay for some people not to like you. What is not okay is for you not to like you. See, when people don't like you or some people don't like you, that is not a problem. The real problem is when you don't like you. Even the Bible says, love your neighbor as yourself. And what that literally means is, if you don't like yourself, you cannot like your neighbor. If you don't love yourself, you cannot love your neighbor. To administer love in this world that we are in, you must first of all love yourself. What you don't like, it is hard to present it to someone else. Even when you do, the attitude with which you present it will be faulty, such that it will not be accepted the way it should be accepted. My point is, you need to like you in order to, for you to be able to present yourself to the world. In order for you to be able to fulfill your purpose here on earth, it is important that you like you. If you want to deliver value in this world, you need to be convinced that you have got value to deliver. And that means you are not weighed down, you are not bogged down by what people think about you. See, the first step to liking yourself is to accept yourself the way you are. Embrace yourself the way you are. Embrace yourself with your flaws, your strengths and weaknesses. Embrace everything. See, when you do that, the negative opinion of anyone around you will be too late because you know who you are and you're confident in who you are. You are not looking for people's validation and people's opinion to like you. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. And you need to get that ingrained on your inside because to like you, you need to know that there was a beautiful intent in the heart and mind of your creator when you were being created and that's why you are beautiful just the way you are not how anyone else describe you beauty is not defined by how people define you beauty is not defined by how people look at you listen to me beauty is not in the eyes of whoever is beholding you beauty is within you beauty is understanding that you are beautiful beauty is understanding that you are complete beautiful is understanding that you are perfect the way you are until next week when i'll be coming your way again my name is dr samuel ekundaya and this is multivitality see you then bye